the kid got a few tick bites on the summit, no rashes, and you go to your doctor and says, well, let's do some blood testing. What would be the blood testing? When would you have done? And what would be the ideal blood test? There, there are two blood tests, the ELISA Lyme, and the enzyme-linked immunoassay, and the classic is the Western blot. The Western blot early test, the immunoglobulin M, and the Western blot long-acting uh, test, the immunoglobulin G. Both of those are under a Western blot. And how would you interpret that? Well, the early test, the uh, immunoglobulin M, shows up usually within six months of an early infection. I would not expect to see the long-lasting IgM test to show up within the first six months. So anybody who has a test that's positive by immunoglobulin M, that's evidence that you've had um, a... They tell you some left, you need three or two positives. I have a... I personally have a problem with that interpretation. I think that is up to the physician to interpret those labs because some of those bands on the early test, like the 23 KD band, is extremely specific for Lyme and not seen in any other spirochete. In my interpretation as a physician, if you see that band, that alone is enough with the clinical symptoms for me to catch a disease early and treat it early before it goes on to become a more serious disease.